Okay, so here we are. Um, this is after several more hours of playing, and this is um, a decent uh, beginning to uh, putting the space together and becoming powerful. So, um, look at inventory, and um, I've got two fully upgraded weapons. Um, I've got uh, plenty of um, cyanotube repairs, I've got plenty of maintenance keys, um, I've got some extra crap for another base. Um, I have this little storage area for extras. I've also got a bunch of seeds and a bunch of fertilizer um, for a hydroponics lab. I've got one water condenser, I can always set up more. And then out front, I have this blocked off, and I've got a couple of these around just in case things turn bad. And I can let this turn into a fight where all of those guys die. See, I'm safe. He's got issues. And then he goes down. And you can loot him. Now another thing to point out is when you're building your base, you don't have to build a whole bunch of things yourself. Um, at least the more expensive things. Um, these often have uh, almost everything you want. The one thing that's rare to find there are the turrets, which is disappointing. But um, we can build them. And another one's fighting. Um, you can also advance these things out more to cover more space. Oh, and he died. And now I get to loot both of them. And here comes another guy. And he drops two. Did I hear another? Eh, must not have. Oh yeah, there she is. And more stuff. So a big thing to, to be on the lookout for, the thing that seems to limit you the most, is heat sinks. Um, so let's go through the effort of making a bunch of turrets. Engineering, and we are going to go to turrets, and we will make one, two, three, four. And then because we can, we'll go ahead and upgrade them. And you can see we're running out of heat sinks to do this kind of nonsense. But we got three of them upgraded. So, um, with that in hand, we can go to a place that's uh, just kind of fun to set up um, a target range. Obviously you end up harvesting an awful lot of these guys as time goes on and a really f there's several places where a lot of different areas sort of collide where a lot of sort of like paths that they follow collide and i'll show a couple of them um, might be able to hear some fighting already so here's one but most of these are actually coming from upstairs because upstairs is a area like this. So setting up a bunch of turrets out here, giving them a power source, means there's always a bunch going to be a bunch of corpses right here to harvest. Um, note that this machine is also another one for your base. Um, so like if you wanted to get some uh, 
water condensers. In fact, maybe I do. Um, you can buy one there. Uh, also note, let's see. Oh. If you have defender turrets in your inventory, sometimes it's hard to see what's going on in your inventory. Let's go put them down. I like to keep a commerce module on. Um, you can trade it back and forth. Actually, let's see if there's anything up here worth killing or looting. Oh yeah, look at them all. Um, anything that you can't carry, obviously you can rearrange your stuff. I'm just going to salvage it. Um, you can also just drop it and it'll lay there until you come back. And then there's those guys. Um, they're a little dangerous to fight because they have a very good weapon. Um, they have a missile attack that will track you for very far away, but he was already damaged from his other fights. And I can hear another one. Oh, hi. Yeah, yeah, you're impressive. No. I do not wish to. And he has no loot. Okay, continuing on. So that was a good spot. Down here isn't too bad. But I don't feel like fighting them right now. So, what I have done is up in here. Uh, there we go. I've put a power unit, and if you hit R, you can see how far that extends out. Now I can put a bunch of turrets out here, and as people wander through this area, they can get shot a bunch. Someone's shooting at me. Oh, I have no ammo. Just go around in circles for a second. Give myself a little space. Crap, I cannot get that out of my way. Oh god. I need to deposit some turrets real fast. Healed. Still can I get to my inventory? Let's drop another defender turret. Ow! You stop that! I don't like it.
We'll move these in a second. Starting to take this personally. Oh, here we go. There. Now we have a whole bank of these guys. Oops. I still haven't bothered to get energy, because I'm smart. <coughs> and then let's go run into a toxic area. Smooth, right? Alright. Had enough of this guy. So anyway, you can see I wasn't exactly smart about how I did things, but it all kind of worked out anyway. Um, so, uh, lots of things like to run around through here. Now there are lots of things to shoot at them. Um, and we can feel good about that. Because that is all more money for us. More stuff. Yeah, yeah. It is. Like that. That was beautiful. Alright, so this isn't an actual base where we hang out, this is just sort of a base where things die. Is there something that I can assist you? Could kill him, but I'm in a hurry. I'm actually low on food and water, so let's go take care of that real fast. Uh, he might see me and get upset. He did not. I've got a great deal of stealth happening for me now. Obviously, I've also boosted my speed. Um, let me get some water. Sounds like things are still getting beat up by the turrets out here. Or maybe they're fighting upstairs. That happens a lot too. Alright, so let me get some water and some food. You can see the usefulness of this uh, Visa Arc. Um, this is now empty. I'm just going to drop it here on the floor. Um, I've got a new water condenser. So I'll go ahead and put that down here. Now this is almost empty, so here's an important thing to know. It's been a while. I don't remember how to retrieve this. Maybe I can... Yeah, there we go. Got to aim for the ion core. Drop that. Now, you can spend your time recharging these things, but another thing you can do 
is um, just slowly upgrade them. Well, I need to turn this on. Engineering, ion core, bam. Uh, I'm already filled up on that. Drop. So now it's completely filled. All I did was upgrade it so it lasts longer, but that also refills it. So that's a cool thing. Now, if you recall, there is this right here. I actually need very little right now, but I think I will go ahead and buy that. Because it is a good price. And now you can see my money is getting low. So what we're going to do is make something that gives us a lot of money. And the best bang for the buck for that is actually this. The basic biostero one, it doesn't give you anything up here. It just gives you your energy and health. But it only takes eight things. They're pretty easy to find. You can see I have a ton of them. And what's well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, and I ran out of room. Um, let's uh, move that over there. Let's move that over there. Let's move that down there. All right. And then we'll run over here. So those are worth 1200 each. Plus we got all this stuff still, and we'll salvage that. Excellent. Got some cables and defense modules. Not going to salvage that, because you don't get much out of the base level stuff. Um, that's highest level, so I'll salvage that. Pretty good. Get rid of some of these other things. Um, you see that money's just not an issue once you fill it up with stuff. And basically, this is all stuff that's been collected off of monsters, um, zombies, whatever you want to call them. And uh, this has just been from running around through this building. Um, so Arc Medical, uh, Arcadia, um, Origin Station, and then a bit of the uh, Oasis. Actually, quite a bit of the Oasis now. And that should be good for stuff I want to get rid of. And now I've got more money than I know what to do with. Okay. So, what to do next? Um, you know, we could try to make more things. I'm not sure how much I picked up. Um, I could go and try to upgrade some of this stuff out here. But one thing I do want to do is show you the next place to build. So we are going to go out Actually, still a little low on food. I should be a little more careful, but should be okay. Let's run down this way. And there's a guy. Now I am blindingly fast right now because um, I have... Uh, actually, this doesn't tell you anything. Actually, I actually have a whole bunch of compute cells. So I've done a whole bunch of stuff here to um, give me abilities with the compute cells. Um, so that's all cool. And then let's see status. 
Yeah, so I got the slender frame, which gives me uh, more speed, the penalty to health, and then I got an innervate, which will heal me whenever I use a Pamela ability, like enhancing my weapon so the next shot is better. I'm not sure how long that effect lasts, but... So if I need more food, I can stop by here. Um, get a little more water. And I think I need food. This is a nice place to build a little base because you can basically block this off. Um, unfortunately, occasionally something will spawn here. Um, an important thing to know is that you can sometimes... Okay, you actually used to be able to jump higher. Maybe you can't jump over this anymore. Doesn't look like it. All right, so don't think you can jump over that. You can go down here. You will probably break a leg on a drop that big if you get in trouble. Um, no, I got rid of that ability. Okay, um, this place is great. It has um, a whole bunch of uh, locker things to loot. And it has... An engineering vendor up here. So this is always a nice place to stop by and see if they have anything you need. Right now I don't need very much. Um, let's see. You can see that I've completely opened up all of my inventory um, and uh, this stuff is all uh, top-notch. Um, this is actually a level 3 repercussive shield but for whatever reason it doesn't show it there. Oh, however, a lot of times when you come up here, a riot will spawn. So let's enhance. Let's go down and start a fight. So I don't want to get stuck up there. Again, they have a hard time hitting you when you're this fast. If you can get the headshots in, most things are going to die in a couple of hits. I'll just leave that there. I may need it someday. All right. So this is an important thing. Um, while I could not jump over the bushes in that one spot, you can do it over here. And this is super useful because it's a shortcut to get to the power request area. Um, getting up here is also nice because these guys cannot get to you and they hate that. Obviously Dark Seekers got ranged weapons, some of the other guys got ranged weapons. And so that is a shortcut to the power request. Ah, uh, hi there. Yeah. Not sure why I was so bad at aiming. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Oh my. So, that's where the power request is. Oh, only three bolts left. Get some more energy. Ooh. It's kind of nice when they scream like that, because it means they aren't charging you. Wow. So, um, you can get a nice price for weapons, but they can be a really good source of heat sinks. Oh my god. And this will eventually become Jacob discovered the dangerous to walk through. That I've been collecting. And it will eventually become a uh, nanosite hell. Twelve told me I should go for maintenance. But this is my favorite place to make a giant base. So lots of things wander through here. Um, this becomes a uh, nano hell, so uh, there's always guys spawning in here. So if you can put um, a bunch of turrets up along this area, um, there's always something for them to be shooting at. And then what you do is... come up here and you can put your um, shields up across this and the zombies are terrible at getting across furniture and this has an engineering thing although um, apparently we're out of power right now power got shut off um, you are close to where you can fix that although frequently you will run into monsters on the way. But that's alright, because monsters on the way means loot. And we are all about the loot. So here is a power request it up on maximum, which gives me three hours minus all of the power I'll drain out of it. And then um, I did pick up this code. Um, I'm trying to remember where I picked it up. That's embarrassing. But this area has one of these. Ooh. It's got one of these, more IV storage that I don't need anymore, but um, those are nice to put away somewhere just in case you Stay die Emma, and can't get back to your corpse. My responsibilities. She encouraged me to keep a diary of feelings that I experience. Um, it has a food vendor. Oh, it has an engineering vendor. My mistake. In fact, it's just got a little bit of everything vendor. Wow, oh, what a nice spot. Um, I don't really need any of this, but I do need water, and I do need food, and I might as well get some energy. And I'm trying to remember if there's anything else back here that you want. Seed package you can't get. No, but you gotta admit that's a pretty good spot. Okay. Let's go back to my secondary base. It 
if you're just gonna lay there I definitely hear someone all right so anyway what I like to do is put um, a solar unit right here and then since we just got one of these Um, but I do need to make an ion unit. Really? Huh, that's gotta be a bug. Well, in any event... So... This is now covering that. That is helping charge this, at least during daylight. Um, move it just a little bit more. Then you can put one on the other side right here. And then you can set turrets up all along these pools. You know, three on each side, four on each side. Um, if you want, you can even put a uh, ion thing um, right here, this, or a, um, a transmitter right here, and you can put additional turrets out here. And this whole place just becomes a giant free fire zone. It's great. Um, other things that are cool about this spot is it'll give you access down into Nirvana, which you will need. Um, it gives you access to that vendor, which is awesome. It gives you access to another I walk by it another engineering vendor right here so yay and it gives you access to another uh, unit here um, again I could make this but it's only 349 so uh, they're only little hydroponics units though so I'm going to actually let that slide um, if you wanted to put doors up over your uh, stairwells you can um, but I'm not going to worry about it and then you have this to get um, medical supplies There's another one behind me. So, over here is a recycling pod. That's level three, so I'm going to salvage it. Uh, nothing too great. Heat sinks. Cables. One more heat sink. That's what I'm really wanting, is heat sinks. Okay, is there anything else I really need to put in here? Hmm, negative. Anyway, that's readily accessible too. Ah. 
Heat sink. All right, and so this becomes a great place for your next base. Um, you can also uh, put one out by um, garrison. Uh, garrison's a long run from either of those spots. I mean, not terribly long, but um, I generally don't camp outside a garrison. It's just too much stuff right there. But um, that's it. Uh, from here, um, you can pretty much do anything you want in the game. All right. Have fun.